I'm Dorinda Medley, you know, and I, I always make it nice. What has life been for you like the past few months? Because obviously the last time we spoke, you were on Housewives and a lot yeah. of things have changed since then. So how are you doing and what has, you know, obviously you're losing weight and doing great, but how have you been since then? You know, it is, I, I, I was thinking about that yesterday. As terrible as COVID has been and is, it has been such a beautiful reset for me. I really enjoyed uh, spending time at Bluestone Manor, which I love, which I never really get a chance to do. And I've really enjoyed just um, being with my parents nice. and having that sort of relationship with them again that's not rushed. Mm -hmm. And just slowing down. I finished my book, Make It Nice, that's just going to come out in June. The writing experience has been really healing and great. And I really. You know, there's that old, my mother said to me when the whole thing happened with housewives, sometimes God does for you that which you cannot do for yourself. Yeah. And it's been a blessing to have the time off because every once in a while, it's important to stop, reset, think, regroup, mm -hmm. find, because we get lost. Right. Yeah. Get lost in whatever this is, housewives, fame, the city, wants, desires. And it's been really nice just to kind of reset and find Dorinda again. You know, not Dorinda the housewife, not Dorinda... John and Dan's daughter, not Dorinda Richard's wife, mm -hmm. just Dorinda. Right. Yeah. And I found it very empowering. Definitely. I mean, do you feel you feel like maybe now you were in one of the best places that you have been in quite some time? I really do. Yeah. I really, I really do. I feel happy. Right. I feel content. And a lot of that worry and fear that, you know, is gone. Yeah, that's good. I that's think COVID has really, really taught us in quarantine and and just regrouping has really taught ourselves to be more accepting of ourselves and sort of look, we, we can get very stuck in the micro yeah. and get lot, you know, and then we forget about the macro. So it's good to just sort of open your eyes up a bit. So yeah, I thank God, knock on wood, I'm happy. Everybody's happy. We've been healthy. I've been very, listen, I am a COVID, I, I'm like really COVID scared. So I haven't done anything, gone anywhere. I just really took it very seriously a because i don't i just don't want it and b i'm taking care of my parents right. so for me you know i have to um be careful of that so i've taken it very seriously but it's been good to just give into that and be like it is what it is and now we have to change directions you know i i'm a person that believes whenever there's a roadblock it's not a stop it's just how do you get around it yeah what do you have to do differently how do we change it up? You know, my mother always, my mother is famous for saying, no is just yes and a little harder. We finished last December. Right. So, you know, we, by the time Housewives started, we were already well into October. So I was already well into the COVID, the life, the, the whole thing. Um, but you know, listen, I, I have no hard feelings about the Housewives. I've never, I, as you guys know, I did almost no interviews. In fact, I did no interviews. I was very quiet because I don't have any bad feelings about it. Mm -hmm. I think everything has a, a time and a place. And I think that that was their decision. And I, you know, I think things change and you have to accept change. And, and, and a lot of times if you sit quietly and you wait, it ends up being the best thing for you. Right. So I don't know, you know, I get asked weekly, daily, are you going back? Would you go back? Well, you'll go back because, you know, they called it a pause. So everybody yeah. was confused. <laughs> I was confused. I was like, okay. Um, <laughs> Time will tell. We're still not out of this phase. Right. We got a long way to go. They haven't even had their season yet. You know, I don't know. You know, it's uh, a year in the housewife's life. Uh, a year in the housewife's world is like ten years in anyone else's. Things change very quickly. <laughs> but I'm still very close to everybody. I'm, you know, I'm close to the most of the girls on the cast. And, yeah. And I don't feel. I feel positive about it. You know, Andy checks in every once in a while, and everyone checks in. And you know, I was really. Got to remember, I was really friends with these people. Of they course, were part of my yeah. life before the show. Right. So this wasn't a show thing. This was a real thing. This is a real thing. I mean, did you feel like almost it was a disservice by not letting you come back, and kind of not redeem yourself, but like you know, tell like show that you were in a better place? Because you said, I mean, I spoke to you during the, the season last season and it was a hard season for you for so many different reasons. But did you feel like it was almost like a little bit of a disservice not letting you come back and do that? Well, I think what I found interesting, and I don't want to kind of get off topic because we are here for Nutrisystem. Yeah, I don't yeah, want totally. to get mad. I think that, I think that, um, I think they've allowed many of the other housewives the opportunity. And you know, it's not, and I'm not being negative about it, but I do think that is the glory of a housewife, the rise, the fall, and the rise again. People love the, 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 to watch that process. I think it, I think the audience would have loved to have 
of um, witness that, mm -hmm. but they made that choice and that's fine. And in a weird way, maybe it was better I just didn't. Maybe it's better that, you know, I would have had to be in New York or I would have been filming during COVID. It would have driven me crazy. Right. Yeah. I couldn't have done it. Like yeah. all this other, all these people running around traveling and doing stuff and not taking it seriously, it would have driven me crazy. You know, not everybody has the same sort of, you know, outlook about the whole process. Right. Is there anything you miss about it? Yeah, of course. You miss, you miss it. You, I guess, of course. I mean, it's, it's the housewife. So I was a great, I was a great housewife. You're fabulous. <laughs> I brought it. <laughs> My favorite housewife turned out. No, you know, I, I, the thing about me is I really didn't care so much because I really enjoyed, I let the audience see me just as I am. Mm -hmm. You could love me, you could hate, you could love me again. And I think one of the things that really worked, and I think it works for me doing Nutrisystem and stuff, I really do, is one thing I've realized is I, I, I am an authentic person. Mm -hmm. Like you've met me in real life, you met me off. I'm not that, I'm not really different in real life than I am mm -hmm. on this show. So. I've really grown to respect myself for that. Like me, hate me. I'm Dorinda Medley, you know, and I, I always make it nice.